Welcome back to Speargrass Forge. In this episode of Skills of Beginners, we'll be working on drawing out the reins for the tongs that we're making. Stick around. Now, there's a million and one different videos for how to draw out when you've got a horn. Unfortunately, I don't have a horn. So, this is, this is how to draw out when you don't have a horn. Now, if you have access to a cross peen hammer, it's really good. This is a very aggressive way of, of drawing out. But basically, over the edge of the anvil with the cross peen, just Full, uh, basically work it down and then and then take out those hills bring it down back to top Now, with drawing, this of course is a very aggressive way to draw out, um, and that's the point. I'm trying to draw out as much material as possible. In drawing out, what we're trying to do is is reduce one dimension to gain length in another dimension. So, of course, with this piece of stock being one inch by 12 mil, uh, we want to draw out the length. So we're bringing down the one inch down to about 12 mil or, or half inch in order to gain the, uh, gain the mass in the bar in order to draw it out lengthwise. So basically, drawing out is reducing one dimension in order to gain in another dimension. Now, as opposed to uh, tapering, which is reducing in two dimensions in order to gain in, in, the, in the third dimension, we're trying to maintain the thickness, thickness here at the same, at the, of the same width. So we're not, we're not tapering down, we're trying to maintain the same thickness, bringing down the height in order to gain length. Now if you're like me when, you very when I very first started, I didn't have a cross beam. So in order to combat that, the way I learned to draw out was with my ball peen hammer, again, over the edge of the anvil, and just... Same thing, it's going to take a little bit longer in order to draw it out, but we're doing the same thing. We're just putting fullers in in order to bring that down. It will look a little bit messy to begin with, but we can always clean it up a bit later. Now, when drawing out, don't forget to maintain the thickness at the same thickness. As you can see, I'm getting a little bit thick in this portion, which means I'm going to have to bring it down a bit more. Getting a bit cold for that now, so stick it back in the fire.
And there we go. Slowly drawing that out and get a longer, maintaining the thickness. It is a little bit curvy at the moment, but we, that's uh, once we finish drawing out, we can uh, heat that back up and straighten it all out and get it get it back in the line. So once you've got that all drawn out, we can straighten it up uh, a little bit later. I'm going to continue drawing out drawing out this rain for myself. I recommend you do do the same. And then tune back in next time and watch the next video for our next step. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Click the bell icon for notifications of when I upload, usually on the, on the week. Don't forget to check out my Spreadshirt and Print Bar stores, links in the description. And I hope to see you again next time. Cheers.